Hi, and welcome to another video on UiPath with me, Jeppe. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at UiPath document understanding. And this is the first in a series of, I think, six or seven videos about document understanding. It's a very broad topic. There's a lot of activities to look at in studio and stuff like that. But in this one, we're just going to do a quick overview of what it is and how it fundamentally works. So let's get to it. So what is document understanding and how does it work? Well, it's a set of technologies that can teach software robots to read and understand documents. I couldn't have said this any better myself, so I stole this from the uhipath.com website. But with document understanding, what you can do is you can have it learn how to look at documents and then to interpret and extract meaningful information from those documents so you can use that information in your automations. So, we have Bob. Bob works in a company. And in that company, there's also a document. And Bob sits at his screen and he opens the document. And he, just by reading the text in the document, he knows what kind of document it is. That's because Bob is really, really smart. Now, because Bob is smart, he'll also know what to do with that information. And what he wants to do is to enter that information into another system, in this case, a database. And Bob is so intelligent that he can actually look at many types of documents even documents that contain many pages. And he can extract the right information from those pages just by looking at them and then enter them into whatever system is relevant for that information. So Bob is really smart. He can do complex work on these documents and put them into different systems. Everything is good, except it isn't. The problem with Bob is he's expensive. He's a highly paid information worker. And even though he's highly paid and very intelligent, Sometimes Bob gets a little confused and he makes mistakes. Compared to an automation, Bob is also fairly slow. And if you kind of set this up in a formula, and I know this isn't very scientific, if you multiply his slowness by him being human and then divide it by how intelligent he really is, then you still end up with money flying out the window because humans are slower than automations. Humans make more mistakes than automations. And most often they are much higher paid than an automation. So we decide to try document understanding. So if we go back to this uh, drawing here, what goes on on the left side here is basically Bob reading whatever text is in the document. In document understanding, we call this digitizing. We are simply taking the raw content of the document and reading it. Then once we've read it, we start processing it. And that's what Bob does in his head. He looks at the text and then he figures out, oh, this is a driver's license, this is a receipt, this is an invoice. And what we call that in document understanding is classification. So once we've digitized and classified our document, there's one activity left, and that is lifting the right information out of that document. And in UiPath document understanding, we call that extraction. And these are the three main activities in document understanding. And let's have a closer look at those. When we digitize a document, we basically convert whatever content it has to text. And we do that in UiPath Studio by using the digitize document activity. The digitize document activity can extract text from PDFs very effectively, and it can extract from images using one of many available OCI engines. And by doing that, you simply convert whatever document you have in an image or in a PDF to text. And when you have that text, you're ready to classify the document. And you do that in UiPath Studio by using the classification scope activity. Inside the classification scope, you can actually add more than one classifier. And we'll have a look at those in one of the following videos. But if one of the classifiers isn't able to confidently classify the document, what we can do is we can use a little helper application called the classification station. That's an application that will display the document to a user and the user can then validate or override the classification that the automation came up with. That information, the validation or the overriding, can then be fed back into a machine learning loop so that the classifier becomes smarter and smarter over time. Once we've classified the document, we want to do the actual data extraction. And that's where we simply lift out the individual uh, fields or text pieces that we want to read from the page. And we do that by using the data extraction scope activity. Inside that activity, we can add one or more extractors. 
And this is where it gets really exciting because this is where we look at the page and find the specific pieces of information that we're looking for. And if the extractors are not able to do a good enough job or isn't confident enough about the job it's doing, we can decide that it should show us what's called the validation station. And this is kind of like the classification station in that we will be shown the document and we will be shown what are the extractions that the engine has made from this document and we can validate or override and help the extractor along by using what are called extractor trainers so these extractors become better and better over time using machine learning as well and finally once we've extracted all of the information we want from a page we do an export extraction results activity and this is where you actually save all of the extracted data into a data set so these are the main three activities you digitize, meaning you read the document. You classify it, meaning you determine what type of document it is. Once you've done that, you know exactly what information it is you need to extract from the document, and you do that in the extract phase. If we zoom out just a little bit, before the digitize part, of course, there is a pre-processing part. And what does that mean? Well, it just means that the documents we need to look at needs to be made available to our automation. And this can happen in any number of ways. I'll keep it very simple in the videos to come, as I will with the post-processing, because post-processing is what you do with the extracted information. And that's really beyond the scope of these videos. So this is a very simplified view of what document understanding is. But we'll go through all of the stages in the videos that are coming up, and they will be coming out in the days and weeks to come. So speaking of videos, what's coming up? So part one, document understanding overview, is what you're watching right now, and we're almost done. Part two, which is coming out in a few days, is digitizing documents, where we look at how do we extract the text data from the documents. Part three will be classifying documents, and we'll look at a couple of different classifiers, and we'll also try and use the classification station, so we kind of get a good impression of what tools are available. In part four, we'll extract data also using the validation station, and that should give you a very good impression and starting point for working with your own document understanding projects. Part five is using UiPath Action Center with document understanding. I've done a couple of videos on my channel about Action Center. And in fact, those two videos are the most popular on my channel. So check those out. There's a link to them in the description below and I'll pop up uh, links to them at the end of this video also. But combining Action Center with document understanding is an incredibly powerful combination. You see that in video number five. And then finally, in the sixth video, we will look at the document understanding framework. That's a template for UiPath Studio that makes it easy to build robust document understanding automations. It's kind of like, not entirely, but kind of like the robotic enterprise framework, but just for document understanding. And I think when you see it, you'll really like it. So that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little notification bell. That way you will know when part two, three, four, five, and six are coming out of this video. And make sure you check out my channel for a bunch of other videos. So that's it for this time. Stay safe. Take care.